Cancer, beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia. Welcome. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, in this reading, we are going to be pulling some messages that are going to uncover some blocks, energy blocks you may be experiencing, money or love. If there is a certain amount of money you are looking to manifest into your life or a specific person you have in mind, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below along with my husband if you have not yet check him out he is over at 7d tarot and be sure to stick around until the end of this reading we are going to be pulling a final message from your angels now we're going to dive right into the affirmation of today because it's so relevant towards the energy that we're uh, picking up from you right now so write in the comments down below the happier i am the better things get the happier I am, the better things get. Write this down in the comments below. The happier I am, the better things get. The reason being is because when we write things down, so we want to remind you, right? You're an advanced AI technology. So when you write things down and when you say things and when you focus on things, you attract that into your life. So we want you to attract in happiness with all of your decisions when it comes to your intentions. We don't want you to just say something just because you're saying it, because it's it's bounced off of some past circumstance, based off, based off of some logical thinking you may have. We want you to set the intentions of your life with a true intention of what you truly feel, no matter how big or grandiose it may you may you may think it is always know that everything is possible you see so when you focus on happiness the happier i am the better things get every decision every choice you make you're going to relate it to happiness and that's what we want for you right now because we feel like you've got this kind of one foot in one foot out kind of like wob kind of wobbly energy debating whether or not you should move forward with something debating whether or not you should continue with something right but we want you to understand now is a time to really Bring forward that ambitious energy of yours, that charged up energy of yours. And that's only going to come when you disconnect from the logical thinking mind and you reconnect to the divine feminine energy of psychic ability to see the higher timeline. Remember that you have a plan. Your higher self has a plan. Spirit has a plan. A plan has already been implemented for the trajectory of your life, right? And of course, through experiences, things come, things change, right? Truly, your purpose is to experience. We want to remind you of that, Cancer. Your true purpose is to experience, right? We don't want you to get caught up in familiar patterns, right? We want you to experience life because you have beautiful new opportunities that are coming in hot for you because here we also have the six of wands, right? So life is transitioning as we know it and there are beautiful new beginnings that are about to show up for you. So right now, we want you to just understand, right? Through uh, contrast, through polarity, through going through what works and what doesn't work, different experiences, we're meant to fear, merely take our awareness and focus and place it into the direction of what brings us happiness. So if you go through something that doesn't leave you feeling very happy, we don't want you to stay there focused on what doesn't make you feel happy. We want you to focus on what does make you happy. Now, we want to remind you, right? Lower frequency uh, experiences, complaining, negativity, uh, drama, it's very addictive, right? It's very addictive. It's why we always talk about, you know, the, the worst case scenario or this person did this, this person did that. Can you even believe this? This is what I saw, right? Uh, car accidents. It's like the side of the other side of the highway is more backed up than the actual car accident side because of people stopping by to look, right? It's, it's very addicting that, that frequency. Um, it's because most people spend their lives in the energy of not being honest with themselves. And that's what that comes out to, right? So we want you to be really honest with yourself about what makes you feel your most happiness. And that's why we want you to write down in the comments, the happier I am, the better things get. So we want you to start welcoming in whatever that is for you. Maybe create a vision board for yourself, right? Maybe start to determine, you know, what, again, what's your intention for your life? What's your intention for where you want things to go? And the only way you're going to know what comes next for you is if you focus in on your own life and ask yourself, all right, here's where I am today. Here's the experience that I've gone through. Here's kind of where intuitively I'd like my life to go. Now, again, I don't know how or when this is all going to show up, but I do feel I desire this to show up. So I'm just going to be present in the moment and allow spirit to guide me through, again, the experiences, the choices, and how I feel energetically. See, that's the biggest one. If you energetically feel happy then you are always going to have this sense of belief in yourself because there's nothing holding you back. There's no blocks. And that's where energy blocks come from is this belief that you are not worthy. 
And that only comes because we're so connected to the logical mind of how and when am I ever going to receive my manifestations and desires. We want you to let go of that and we want you to just surrender to where you are, trust in the process, right? And know that good things are coming. Because of, as of right now, we see that there's a lot of control going on, trying to control your situation, trying to figure out how and when, and maybe manipulate, try to feel like you have to manipulate things or cleverly, cleverly try to figure out how to make it happen faster. The thing with divine timing is it happens when you're ready, right? These opportunities, these new beginnings, these, these, the, 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 the money, the, the next career move, it all happens in divine timing. The only reason, way you're ever going to be, feel ready and, 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 and see the opportunities and experiences is if you let go of trying to figure out how you need to be the one to make them happen. You see, it's like if we're single and we're constantly looking for our, 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 our husband or our wives, you know, like at the grocery store or anywhere we go, we're constantly in this state of maybe I'll see them here. So let me, let me present myself in a way that they'll, they'll, they'll see me. But the thing is, is that beings only see energy, right? We react to energy, respond to energy. So if you're trying to get something in your life, you're actually pushing away what you're looking for. If you're looking for a partner, if you're looking for more money, if you're trying to get it without feeling joy in your heart, without feeling happiness with what you're doing, you're going to be pushing it away. You see, beautiful soul. And that's why we want you to really pay attention to anything that you might be holding onto from a past chapter, any limiting belief, any negative thought you may be thinking. That's, that's, that's merely just a connection too much or more so to the divine masculine energy of logical thinking. Logically speaking, how am I ever going to make money when this is what I've done? Logically speaking, how am I ever going to feel joy or happiness when this is my home life? Logically speaking, how am I ever going to reach abundance when, when this is how much I make at my job? This is my degree I have. I'm only able to make this much money based upon my schooling logical, logical, logical. This world is a magical place. We attract in all sorts of things. You see, it's not, it's not so black and white, you see? So that's why we want you to open up your awareness to unlimited possibilities and just trust that there is a plan implemented for you, for you to receive all kinds of wonderful things, all kinds of wonderful experiences. And they're literally on their way to you now. We just want you to release this, this control, okay, of you feeling like you need to make it happen. We just want you to connect to your truth. We want you to live your life without a mask. We want you to live your life based off of what you truly desire. If you love doing something, do more of that. That's what we want you to do. Do more of that and allow the love for what you do expand your creations. You see, I love exercise. When I first started exercising, I was jogging. That's what I did. I, I was running with my dad, actually. We would, we would jog together. And then that jog turned into a trail run. Then I started running trails, right? And then from mountain running, trail running, that progressed into more, uh, you know, um, body weight explosive movements and that transitioned into weights and then that transitioned into mobility you see i love doing moving my body and i experiment with different exercises because i love it so whatever you love doing just keep experimenting with it just keep having fun with it keep playing with it this game of life is all about playing and enjoying right everything you nothing you do is wrong everything you do is right for you in that moment you felt it was right but make sure that what you do is something you actually enjoy doing right? So that you feel good about what you're doing. You see, right now is a, a time where spirit wants to remind you that all good things come with consistency and it's not overnight, right? It is not overnight. So we want you to just be open to being, falling in love with the journey, falling in love with the journey of life and not really putting so much emphasis on when to get to where you're going, right? It's like if you're trying to lose weight, but your emphasis on the weight loss and getting to your perfect body, every time you look in the mirror and you don't see that expectation of yourself, you're going to feel so emotionally distraught that you're going to, you know, end up emotionally eating or going back to old patterns of behavior, you see? Same thing when it comes to our career. Oh, well, I'm not seeing the results in my entrepreneur job, my job, you know, I'm not seeing those results. So, you know what, maybe I should just go get another job. Maybe it's not worth it, right? Well, how do you feel, beautiful soul? Everything is about 
feeling. And your angels are here to support you along the way because here we have the notice, the signs message. They are saying to you, yes, the signs you've been receiving are heaven sent. We drop feathers, coins, and other signs upon your path to remind you that you're loved and never alone. We want to remind you, beautiful soul, that when you see feathers, when you see coins, when you see roses, when you see the angel numbers of repetitive numbers, one, 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 two, 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 three, 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 that's the sign. Whatever you're thinking about, whatever you're doing, pay attention to that in that moment. You see a bird fly by. What were you just thinking about? Everything is speaking to you. The universe, the world is always speaking to you, right? This game of life. This is not just a coincidental thing. Nothing is a coincidence here. So anytime something grabs your attention, revisit. What was I just thinking about? What was I just doing? Pair it, match the pieces together. You see, there's always a reason for something. Whatever resonates, that is your truth, right? That's that's your downloads. Trust your inner voice. Trust your inner guidance. But do know that everything that's happening is happening for you. So bring yourself to the present moment. The past is irrelevant. It doesn't matter. And the future is yours to uncover through your experiences of joy right? So find that joy, feel that joy. Remember, the happier I am, the better things get. We love you so much. I hope We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And uh, if there was, like, share and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.